Hey you guys, it is Clary Berry. I'm here today to bring you guys a pretty quick reading. This is going to be one of these wonderful lunch break readings. And this is going to be for, oh well, I was going to say the weekend ahead. But let's just go for the rest of the week into the weekend. Because, you know, this is Thanksgiving in America. We have, you know, a lot of us are getting off work. This is actually my last day at work for the week. Oh my goodness, I hope I don't drop my cards into my tea. <laughs> Got some ginger tea, got some nice mashed potatoes, vegan for lunch. I'm feeling good and I'm feeling like I needed a break. So this is great timing. So today is the wonderful, exciting, much hyped new moon. Okay, we're starting on something new today. Can you guys feel it? Because I can. Okay, so let's get a reading on this. How is this new moon energy going forth? into the week and with everything else going on okay so for twin flame collective what's up this is a general reading so please take what resonates ditch what doesn't okay well we got the knight of wands that was already face up i don't know how but it was might have just been something from the last reading, but I decided to go ahead and take it. Okay. So once again, I hope you guys are doing really, really well here today. We've got a lot of important energy here. I can really tell. Okay. This is a, this is a pivotal time. Again, getting cards, a lot of pentacles, energy, a lot of fire. The first part of this reading is all external. Okay. So this is a time where people are focused on what's coming back to them, you know, what, what they're receiving out of life, what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, where wh it's the accumulation of your healing, your passion, the way you act, the way you expect people to treat you, the way we kind of sometimes overcompensate for that. You know, sometimes you expect people to treat you bad. So you put up a wall. Um, it's like we have this armor and that's been the way that, that we've been acting but that is kind of taking us away and we might be getting swept up in some of these rash actions, reactions, rather than thinking something out thoroughly. We're just, oh, we're just reacting. You know, we're just like the horse. We're just like, oh, something's happening. You know, there's this obstacle. There's this unknown. You know, there's maybe a mystery out there that we're not sure about, but we think we know about it. Okay. The reins have the growth on it too. So make sure that whenever you do, you know, whenever you react to the results of your actions, that you are remembering how far you've come and how, you know, how much you want to keep going in that direction. Okay. As, as opposed to just keep continuing to have maybe some angry reactions, maybe some, you know, um, just upset, impassioned in whatever way. It doesn't have to be anger, but just you know, we have this Mars and Uranus energy kind of going alongside with this new moon and don't, it's saying don't overreact. Okay. That's not the, that's not, that's basically the opposite of what we want to do right now. What we want to do is stay calm, cool, and collected. We want to, you want to use that passion. Of course, you know, this is shadow work in itself and um, you're overcoming that reptilian brain and you're using it to heal. Okay. So whatever you're upset about, you definitely want to delve into that and really try to see it from different angles, just like we do with the shadow work. I always talk about shadow work, flip the switch. So whatever you're angry about, state it out and try to state it in a very basic, very kind of boiled down manner. So if you were upset at somebody for doing this, this, and that, you would just boil it down and say, they are doing this. Um, that again, it wouldn't be specific. It's something that you're going to need to flip. Like the deeper, like it's like, it's not just like, oh, so-and-so you know, went to the store and didn't get me anything, you know, because you can flip that, but it's not going to make any sense because that's not the way things work. It's more of the underlying issue. So, so-and-so is being careless and thoughtless towards my wants and needs or something like that. That would be a better way to phrase it. Okay. And so then you flip it. You say, how am I being careless or thoughtless towards my needs? And then you say, you flip it again onto them 
and saying they are, they are being, and think about that, how that, how these different viewpoints, different truths, different scenarios might actually be true. It's just very helpful. I can't even explain exactly how it's going to help you because there's so many different ways that it can help you, but this is essentially shadow work. I'm giving you a crash course in the shadow work. Okay. Because it is so necessary. It's so upfront. See the, the black and the yellow. Okay. That's saying this is a perfect time for healing. Um, usually it's like black and white or whatever is your dualities. And so it's your shadow, the moon, you know, the, the dark side of the moon, uh, yin yang, all of these things. But when it's on the yellow like this, it's, I feel like it's just saying, this is a, again, a really good time to get a lot out of the shadow work. Okay. Just because, you know, we still have some Scorpio energy. I think it's good to go deep. You know, it's good to start working on these things. These, these subconscious beliefs, it's perfect time why we still have energy in Scorpio. Okay. And with our Mars, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a lucky time that these passions come up because how else are we going to deal with them? Remember the pain in life is similar to the pain, you know, of, of actually hurting yourself. Ooh, I just burnt my finger on a flame or on a stove. I shouldn't do that anymore. You learn a lesson. You immediately react. So you take away the injury. Okay. You're taking away you know, it, the, the pain serves a purpose to tell you to take your finger away. Okay. And that's kind of what this is. That's why we don't just bury our feelings. We don't just ignore our feelings. Okay. That is the, that is the cultural way. I think for a lot of people to kind of react to negative things in our life, but we know that there's no such thing as really real negative and positive. Everything is actually light and the dark is just the absence of light. So it's, when you bring the light to the absence of light, there's no more darkness. Okay. So it's kind of all an illusion as everything really is, isn't it? But there's very much this coming out of this because we have this reptilian, um, cloak on the guy there. And then we also have the little reptile here in the bottom. Okay. So this is dealing. Okay. This is saying that, you know, initially, maybe right now, maybe in the past, you have been using that reptilian brain to make decisions because you're just reacting. Or it could be your person just reacting and not actually using that higher mind, higher brain, higher, um, you know, your psyche and your, your, uh, your mental, your emotional, your spiritual. Okay. So there's going to be healing regarding this type of reaction and things, um, through the, through the shadow work. Okay. And if you want to learn how to do the shadow work on a deep, deeper level, like get really good at it, um, all the ins and outs go to claryberry.com and you can get my program. Okay. The links in the description box below as well. Okay. So this is kind of one aspect of this reading, you know, taming the beast, taming the passion, taming the anger, doing the shadow work. Okay. So then we have our next little section. I'm breaking this up into sections just because that's the way that it's coming across. Well, and those two were the wands. And I want you to realize it goes from the knight to the king. So we are coming in more control. We're coming into more um, uh, confidence. Okay. So I feel like this is, this energy is going to kind of wear off a little bit. And then it's almost back to the mundane, back to the mundane. I feel like maybe after the holidays, there's kind of that post-traumatic, not post-traumatic, post-holiday. Some people get the post-holiday blues. There's just kind of a lull. Well, except for Black Friday, of course. So after Black Friday, you know, um, it's, this is actually, this could be actually about Black Friday too. This is like really think ahead and make sure that you're spending properly, that you're focused on things that are really going to help you be wise, be strategic. Um, remember all of your actions ever should line up with your highest goals. Okay. So do not allow yourself to be pulled off and to get sucked into actions, doing things, obligations, signing up for things, taking care of things, showing up for, you know, people who don't show up for you, worrying about people, you know, any kind of action that you might possibly get sucked into, um, or even volunteer, you know, sometimes we just don't, we, Oh, we think we have so many hours in the day. This is kind of a time to be a little bit choosy about what you want to do. Cause we're going from the seven of pentacles down to the four. And this is really, um, going along with our Capricorn and Venus energy. Okay. With our love attention, with our, you know, with our passion about what we love about life with our money, we are being asked and being called to 
kind of conserve, kind of use what we already have. And I think this is a great message. Wow. I didn't even realize when I first started or when I started to saying this, that it came around with the Black Friday thing again, but this really is real. This is like, don't go out and waste a bunch of money and time and energy sh shopping on things that you could give a perfectly good gift. You're overflowing in abundance already. Okay. And this is really going to help your future right now if you're smart. Okay. So think about what, again, what your higher self really, really wants and make sure that you're allowing yourself to have the best chance and opportunity at, at receiving those things. Okay. So again, go around the house, see what you already have that you can be a re-gifter, you know, uh, combine gifts. Think, I mean, cause so many things people are just, and even for yourself, you know, Oh, I want to buy this. I want to buy that. And we get so tempted and credit cards and all this stuff. And it's like, okay, this is a really good time to get an alignment. Again, make sure that any action, anything you do, your actions on a daily basis and over time are all in alignment with your highest thoughts and your highest emotions. Make sure it's legit. So many times we want, Oh, I want that so bad. I want that so bad. And you'll give it a little bit of effort and then you'll, you don't even realize the majority of your day, or at least many, many hours that you could have been using to fulfill that dream, fulfill that goal is used on doing stupid shit. That doesn't even matter. Check, check those time. I'm feeling like a lot of time wasters here too. Money and time being wasted here. Okay. Make sure that the people you're hanging out with are worthy. Okay. And this actually is coming through with even, um, with the twin flame. This is pretty much a twin flame channel, or at least a love relationship channel. And it's like this again is very much with the seven of pentacles. And then we got the five of pentacles after the four, you know, it's like, okay, there's some ups and downs here. And this is, again, I've been saying this for a while, this long-term energy, long-term getting better, long-term understanding, long-term love. This is not demanding anything or focusing on anything in the now. If you're not getting what you want from your partner right now, don't throw a fit. Don't bitch. Don't freak out. Just simply withdraw and focus on your own self. Focus on your life, all the things, your physical health, your money, your family, your friends, your home, your job, your money, you know, all of these things. Focus on your external world big time here, okay? This is where our, it's almost like this is kind of where we love to right now with the, with the, with the way the stars are. This is like where we're being pulled. Our, it's much more... And even with the Sagittarius, it's, it's our Venus energy um, and, and other energies as well. Just not really the best because our Venus is in Capricorn. So it's restricting. It's limiting. It is responsible. It's a responsibility. Again, it can be kind of burdensome, I've said in some of my last videos. This is not the best time for, oh, you know, relationships and, and twin flame energy because there's so much healing that needs to be done. Okay. So much healing that needs to be done. But again, rejoice that it is happening. Don't think this is any kind of long-term. I mean, I said, yeah, it's a long-term thing uh, as far as the relationship goes. But I don't think it's going to necessarily be like, oh, forever, you know, in years of separation. No, the separation is is uh, temporal. It's situational. Okay. It's because we're so busy. I feel like, again, a lot of people are having social events for the holidays and, if they're not doing that, they kind of, we kind of just maybe want to be by ourselves. Okay. There is a lot of energetic energy. You know, we have a lot of fire. We have a lot of Scorpio. You know, this is being analytical, being real with yourself, figuring out what about your life that you actually want and what you don't want. Getting again in alignment, your mental, your emotional, your actions and your actions over time. Okay. This is about healing, but it's also about the holistic law of attraction, all of which you can find in my program. My program goes through, it's the Aloha Switch program. It goes through abundant holistic healing and then it goes through shadow work and then it goes into deep inner child healing. And I'm seeing that this is a journey. I feel like there's going to be a lot of success within these next couple of days during this new moon with the shadow work. And then as we get in towards the middle to end of the week a little bit more, then it's maybe time to go in deeper for some inner child healing. Okay. The healing is taking us somewhere. We're crossing barriers. It's a, it may feel like an uphill battle. Okay. But this is a time where we don't mind being called to action here. Okay. Because you've got a lot of drive. You've got a lot of drive and you're absolutely up for the task. 
Okay. Especially after all the healing, after you get in with the shadow work and the inner child healing, you'll be ready to go. You're going to be, it's, it's see the little wings on his helmet. This is the idea. This is your, your communication will be right. Your projections will be right. You'll be coming with the right energy at the right time. Even the, even his little shoes, he's walking the walk too. His little shoes have wings. So his, this is again, this alignment from the mental to the emotional, to the actions and actions over time, because you're going to, because you need to do the healing and you maybe are doing the healing. This is, this could go either way. Okay. But even if you are already doing this healing, let's say you're already all the way to the inner child healing at the end of the program, keep it up and keep on going back and revisiting the shadow work as well. And just keep on walking the walk as this lifestyle. Okay. Because you really are changing in very deep ways and you are communicating very deep things here. Okay. Through all of this work and especially by the time you get to this deep healing and inner child healing, um, you're going to look back on yourself, be like, whoa. And not only that, other people are going to look back on you and be like, whoa, starting with your person, probably most likely. Um, but I'm getting that there might be at least one other main significant person in your life that is going to be like, again, whoa, like, look at what they've changed in their life. Look at their whole nother person. Like where, where's this person that they used to be? And who is this now? You know, because again, this whole alignment thing. And again, that's all about the law of attraction is the mental, the emotional, the actions, and then the actions over time. And when it gets to that point, when it, when you get through all of those and you get through them with the law of attraction, it's amazing. Again, people are going to look at you. People are See, we have here the five of swords here. People, people, this is communication. You are communicating through your actions. You don't even need to say, I mean, yeah, you can, you can say, you can come on YouTube and spiel it. You can get on Instagram. You can do whatever, post stuff on Facebook, blogs, communicate that way. Okay. I'm getting, it's definitely like shout out to the rooftops during conversations, write songs, do art, like whatever it is in whatever ways you're communicating you're helping people. And when you keep that up over time, you're going to be helping a lot of people. You're going to be helping he to heal not only yourself by doing this work, but the whole entire world. You are a part of something great. You are a part of this evolution. You are a part of pushing this forward. Okay. Celebrate that. Celebrate your gifts right now. Celebrate your passion. When you're inspired and you have inspired action, be thankful for that because a lot of people don't have that. People go through life, you know, again, falling back on, you know, less than ideal actions and thoughts and all of these things because they don't have anything better to focus on. And it's a gift to have these revelations, to have this knowledge, this understanding. So take it very seriously. I'm offering you something huge here and you can really start to, again, if you, you know, I know you love people. I know you have people close to you that you love and you can really help them just by being yourself, just by getting better yourself. So it's like a win-win situation all around, okay? And it's bringing you to a whole nother level of life, total level up here. And it's going to continue. I mean, you are supported. You are absolutely, there's, you know, there's a lot of signs here, you know, that you are being guided in the right direction, okay? It's not just going to help the world, it's going to help you to have, have everything you ever wanted, not just physically. Okay. I'm talking health. I'm talking mental health. I'm talking about relationships. Yes. Jobs, you know, career mission. Um, I'm feeling like with the healing and offering, it's a gift that you're going to be able to get really passionate about helping to people to heal. That's what this is about. Heal and grow and change their deep seated belief systems. This is what it's about. If you're here and you're really taking this in and you resonate with this, then this could be something for your future. Okay. So allow yourself to brainstorm, allow yourself to learn. This is a very much learn, learn, learn wisdom. Again, a great time to push forward with the learning. So really it is a perfect time to get the package, to get the program. If you want to have the package, the packages are the program that is um, the Aloha switch program that I always reference again, it starts out with abundant holistic healing and then it goes to the shadow work and then it goes into the inner child healing. This is a 30 videos, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Okay. I would say at least 20 hours if I had to guess off the top of my head. Sometime I need to figure that out, but, um, 
yeah, these things can really help you. Okay. In combination, again, getting the package, you get a discount on the personal reading. If you buy them together with the package, um, that's always a good idea because then you get a little extra boost and we can talk about, you can email me your questions and we can talk about that. So again, check out all the prices, all the up-to-date prices are always on claireberry.com. Okay. Again, link in the description box below if you just want to click it. And I do just want to make a note right now. Um, I have updated my Patreon and my Facebook group situation. So I just want to tell you guys how this is going to work from now on. Um, again, all the links in there are in the description box below. And if you go to claireberry.com, they're there as well. So you can always go there and jump over to the Patreon or the Facebook group or whatever. So first of all, the Facebook group is free. Okay. It is a free group. It's going to actually be jump started in December. Okay. I'm going to be posting stuff and getting ready for kind of the launch. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it is for, it. like I said, it's free and I'm going to start doing weekly uh, uploads and content, okay? So what I'm going to have there is the four elements that I that I used to post here, doing um, basically the week. I'll probably post it on the weekend. It'll be the week ahead um, for, like I said, your zodiac element. So again, you can check out your moon sign, moon sign your sun sign, ascendant, um, all the different signs or um, again, it's not going to be a sign, but the element for those signs. Okay. So those are still going to be kind of general readings, but then, and they're going to be a little bit shorter. You know, you know how my videos are 20, 30 minutes or so. And then if you want the extended version of that video, you can go to Patreon and for $5 a month, you're going to get the four extended videos that I would post each week, uh, sent to you as well. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, just email me, feel free to email me clarebear.com any time of day. I'm always here for you guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You can also find me all over so, uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest. Again, all the links are um, down below or on clarebear.com. So before we, uh, before we part ways here, parting is such a sweet sorrow. I just want to take, we're going to take two cards for the divine masculine and then we're going to take three cards for the divine feminine just because that's what wanted to come out okay so divine masculine and energy, and energy okay yes we got wow 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 very two major arcanas here we got temperance okay and i'm feeling like yeah there's definitely some maybe some anger going on okay it doesn't have to mean like there's an anger issue with with the divine masculine right now but i'm not gonna lie there is some anger okay there may be a little bit of a fall from grace. There may be um, carrying around a burden. Not, you know, there's some issues with the relationship right now. And it doesn't necessarily just mean between the twin flame relationship, but this is just from the perspective of the divine masculine. You know, there is growth. There is cleansing energy. Okay. There's connection. There's understanding. But there's still this... I'm getting it as anger and it could be like maybe a different passionate feeling, but I'm feeling like there's, it could be anger itself. It could be just anger, anger at everything right now. Um, and then we got the chariot. Okay. So this is kind of that going within and changing things. So it's going to be like as, as fast as this anger may have come in, it's going it, to, it, the divine masculine should be able to kind of take care of it, especially if everybody's doing their shadow work. And again, remember how much the divine feminine actually, influences the divine masculine this is twin flame card you got the divine masculine on one side the divine feminine on the other side inspiring each other moving together okay you your partner is only going to get you know heal in as much as you are because you guys are so connected you're always going to be right there together okay go with and do the shadow work if you want to come into union and build this life together and move into this life together you have to be smart. You have to know that you can manifest this. You have, like, you've got this. You've got this. Stay open to the change, too, is what is what I'm seeing. And, you know, and temperance. You know, have that temperance energy where, you know, you're being forgiving. You're being balanced. You're understanding all sides. And the best way to do that, again, is the shadow work. Again, with all this black and white, you know. This is the, this is a cancer card. This is the moon, you know, again, whenever I think of moon, it's yeah, it's go within, but it's also like the dark and the negative side of you. Cause people only want to be like, oh yeah, I'm super positive person. And they deny, we, you know, just like we deny our pain, we deny, you know, the negative sides of us because that's what we perceive them as. And it makes us feel bad. It makes us feel negative. And then we, um, 
do negative things. You know, we feel negative feelings and we do negative things. And we don't want to do that with our shadow side. We understand our shadow side. We make it work for us. And that is what the program is all about. Okay. So with, ooh, with the divine feminine. Okay. Here. So first we got very much a shadow work card. I just love that, that dark horse. You know, this, this is like saying how important the shadow work is for you. It is everything right now. It, all your healing right now is dependent on getting into the shadow work. Yeah. Inner child healing work will come shortly thereafter, but your passion right now really should be going within on this and taking care of it. Okay. And that is for everything. Again, for literally everything, for your relationships, not even just your twin flame relationship, but all of your relationships, for your clarity, for your passion, for your mission, for your money, for your future job, you know, your, your, your way to give back your purpose, your growth, like all of the above, everything is resting on you doing this work. Okay. Cause this is what's coming if you don't. Okay. 10 of swords in reverse. This is what we've had. This is our, this is what brings our tower moments around because we have these negative thoughts, beliefs, and expectations, and we don't deal with them. So they deal with us. Let's stop that cycle. Okay. We're going to stop that cycle. We're going to make sure that doesn't come in the future because again, we're going to do our shadow work. And when we're not doing our shadow work, we're working on our lives. We're working on our relationships, relationship with yourself, but also with other people, working on your home, working on your job, working on your mission, how you can give back. And I say social, working on your home, money, job, whatever. Okay. You have the power. Don't get too comfortable, but be comfortable enough with yourself to know the truth about what you want. You have to get, you have to go deep within before you can understand, is this something I really want? Stop yourself. Is this something I really want? If it is, then act on it. If it is, then carry that around with you. If it is, focus on it. What you focus on flourishes. Lots of change coming around. Lots more change is coming. Okay? Lots more change is coming. We're going to change the way we see the world. Change our belief systems. Okay? A lot of old belief systems are changing right now. Not just for you, but collectively. But you are a leader. And you're helping to manifest this change globally as well. Collectively. And this is absolutely going to help your love life. Okay. Again, I keep saying all, all of the, uh, all of the readings, you know, I would so much like to come on here and be like, yeah, everybody's coming together with your twin flame and it's all going to be great. We're going to have a great sexy weekend and all of this stuff. And it's like, I'm not going to lie, of course. Um, but it's not like it's not there. It's not like it's not coming. Okay. There's realizations. Okay. There's, um, there's manifestations that are happening again under the surface and the divine masculine needs some time to move out of that anger, take care of it, figure out what it is. Okay. What I'm getting is, um, the divine masculine, you know, the stages of grief we've had this. I feel like a lot of us have had big tower moments with the solar, uh, with the eclipse energy from last summer. And we're all still dealing with these old tower moments. Maybe they're creating new tower moments or, or what, or maybe not, but we're all still dealing with those. And that's kind of still what's causing the separation. And again, I've said before, like the divine feminine might think she's getting over it, but still it's kind of sneaky. It's kind of like, no, not quite over it. So keep on going with it and doing that work. Even if you feel like you've come so far or whatever, don't get cocky with the energy, but with the divine feminine, with the divine masculine, excuse me, I'm feeling like you go, the stages of grief are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and then acceptance. Okay. So I'm feeling like, you know, the divine masculine maybe is coming out of the bargaining and going into the anger. Okay. But then it's going to move, you know, you're going to be able to move it quickly. And as long as the shadow work is being done, you're going to zoom right through that that anger piece of it. And again, it's, it could be anger at yourself, could be anger, you know, misdirected hostility, all of that sort of thing. Okay. Denial, anger or coming out of denial. Yeah. And then going into the anger and then bargaining, depression, acceptance, like I said, so move, just keep on. If you want it to flow, stay connected, meditation, spirit guides, angelology, YouTube videos, astrology, keep learning keep learning, keep growing, but, but above all do the healing work. Okay. Shadow work, shadow work, shadow work, shadow work, shadow work, so much shadow work here. Okay. So literally 
do the shadow work. I think I have a playlist on shadow work as well, but like I said, just get the program. It's totally worth it. It's not very expensive. It's a great program. Like I said, I put my heart and soul into it. Let me know what you think. I will talk to you guys very soon. Much love, many blessings. Happy Thanksgiving if I don't see you before then. And yeah, peace. Bye.